what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i realized i did this video a year ago and this was before i was really getting my channel going and knew what i was doing and had editing software etc etc anyways i recorded this last year and then i forgot about it so i figured you know who cares if it's been a year why not put it up and see if somebody wants to do it on their own it's always something i wanted to do and I just never did it, I guess, because I didn't think I'd be successful at it. And then I thought it would be too much work and I just didn't have the time. But after doing it for a season, it's much easier than I thought. It's very little maintenance. And in the end, when you see the finished product, it really makes you see that it's easy to do something if you just put your mind to it. And there's a sense of gratitude, I guess, of watching it start from nothing by the time it's ready and you get to see your hard work pay off I guess and also it was a family thing so we all did it together my wife chipped in she helped my daughter helped and loved every second of it but I won't keep talking here's the video hope you guys get something out of it I'm gonna enjoy the weather today and it's spring so let's do it Probably should explain what I'm doing, so. I decided to do an eight by eight U-shaped. And the reason why I did that is because this way, you don't have to walk into the garden. But after getting it all, um, all the sod out, it looks like it might be too small. But we see how it goes. I wanted to go smaller rather than larger because a smaller garden's easier to maintain. I've never done this, this is the first time doing it. So I wanted to see how it goes. But I figured I'd remove the sod first so no grass grows up through the dirt. you're digging too make sure um well you should have julie come on mark this i didn't because i know where the lines are up towards the house but there's a single small gauge wire running along here i have no idea what that is and whatever dirt you got left over Get rid of the, of the sod for sure, but the dirt, keep it. Because you can put it right back into the box, the planter box.
don't think so. So a lot of times I'm working alone, just about 99.9% .9 of the time. So, you know, you can't flip it over without putting a brace in there. Otherwise the whole thing will just collapse. So quick brace, was able to flip it over. And I'll staple the chicken wire under the bottom. The reason why I'm doing uh, chicken wire is because I don't want no animals to come up from underneath it. So I figured if I put the chicken wire down first, I can't get up from underneath.
note to self when you're doing this this chicken wire man it'll get you so probably should be wearing gloves got the chicken wire all stapled on we'll flip it back over now and start in the second row What I'm doing is you can see the ground. So the ground is a lot higher up here than it is down there. So I'm gonna get it level. And then what I'll do is that space there, I'll fill it in with dirt. Even if an animal tries to get up underneath there, it won't because of the chicken wire. I hope, it's my theory. We'll see. So you can see the difference in the grade of the ground. I got one two by over here, which is just about level there. So there's not too much of a gap. But then this side has a lot. I'm contemplating whether I should level it out or just set it back down and leave it on the ground and it not be level. This way there's a lesser chance of an animal going back and forth, although I don't think it's going to. We'll see.
all right we're all finished up so it's an eight by eight u-shaped two feet on these sides three feet in the back um i put the u there because i want to be able to walk without having to go into the actual garden so this way you can kind of go around and be able to lean over pick weeds pull vegetables and stuff out of there just a couple of things that i did just remind everybody so i put chicken wire down first staple it to the bottom to prevent any animals coming up from underneath landscape fabric over that and now we'll fill it with dirt and topsoil which i'll fill it with that dirt first topsoil mix it all in and then we'll uh, try to grow some vegetables hope you guys like this video and get something out of it don't forget subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up hit that bell for notifications drop a comment in the comment section below